Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now solving a numerical on C clamp design with frame. In the last lecture, we have seen how to develop or how to develop the expression for torsion and the total torque which is going to act on the body. In today's session, we are going to design the power screw first. Let's move ahead. So friends, like we have discussed in the, in the previous section that there are two sections possible. Let me show the diagram again in which there are two sections we have considered. Section AA where there is no collar present for the screw anywhere in this region or in this region and section BB where the collar part is also present for the screw. We know that whenever there is a collar present, there is an additional stuff which is called stress, additional stress due to the collar friction. Whenever it's not present, it is purely the torsion as well as the compression. So let us move ahead with the section AA and section BB separately. So we know that at section AA, there is going to be torsional shear stress and there is going to be the bending stress. This is the torsion because of the total torque and this bending stress is going to be because of the bending moment. Bending moment of handle force. So students, from the previous topic, we already have found out T1 and T2. Let us add them to sum up T. As you solve this particular expression, we will get twenty one point around three Newton per millimeter square. That's the first relation. Second is bending stress. Now let us move ahead to the bending moment first with before we go to the bending stress. We know that bending moment will be given by bending moment will be given by the operator's force that is 250 newton into the length at which the operator is applying the force we know that from this case rm and the distance given is again 275 so we can use this particular expression in this let's substitute them As we solve this expression, we will be getting evaluation is equal to 2.75. So these are what the important findings upon which we are going to do the design. Now, there are certain things that we need to understand that. This particular power screw may fail under different conditions. We have already learned different theories of failure of which we know that the base suited theory is the maximum shear stress theory. Formulation is very simple and which is in front of you. Let's substitute the values. After solving this will get 25.5 so that is what the actual value of shear stress that is going to be induced in the given power screw now we have to compare this value with the safe value of power screw we know that the factor of safety is given to based on which we have already found out that the allowable shear stress is equal to somehow the value that is induced is 74.38 newton per millimeter square since the existing value is smaller than the allowable value we can say that design is safe as far as cross section aa is concerned 
Now we have to do this validation for cross section BB also. If that particular cross section fails, we have to come back and we have to change the core diameter. And once we change the core diameter, all this formulation will also change. So let us move ahead for the section BB. At section BB, we know that there are two ways of failure. One is torsional shear and second is direct compressive stress. Now, one more thing that I need to highlight is the collar friction is because of the torsion or specifically collar torsion and the direct compressive stress is because of the direct load. The substitute values, the expressions are quite simple. The value of T2 we had found out was somewhere around this. As we evaluate this value, we will get which is our first finding. For direct compressive stress again, we know that the direct load which is going to act is 5 kN. Again as we evaluate this expression, we will get somewhere around 22.03 Newton per millimeter square. Now, as we know these are the stresses which are going to act across the section BB, let us apply the maximum shear stress theory again. Theory remains the same. Let's substitute the values. Now, as we evaluate this, we'll get the answer, which is the maximum value of shear stress. Again, we know that factor of safety is 2, and therefore, the allowable value is equal to somehow the value which we have obtained is much, much smaller, and hence we can say, and hence the design is safe. In short, the core diameter that we have selected for this particular power screw is safe at both section AA and section BB. And hence, altogether, we can say that this particular power screw is safe in design. In the next part, we are going to do this particular design for nut. So, let us begin with the nut design. Now, this is an important factor they have given is the unit bearing pressure. The range is also given. This is basically for the given material combination, which is the plain carbon steel and the gray cast iron. Let us go for the average value of it. And therefore, let, now, this particular term, unit bearing pressure is designated by the letter SB. So let SB be their mean, which is going to be 15 Newton per millimeter square. This is a standard relation which will be available or you may have to buy heart this which is very simple. It's W divided by pi by 4 into this factor into this particular area section. So it is in short this particular thing. We have already adjusted this thing to get this expression. The load 5 kN divided by pi into SB value which we have figured out is 15 into this particular value. This is the nominal diameter which we have assumed is 22 minus DC is the core diameter which is 17. After solving this particular expression we will get which comes out somewhere B 2.18. Let's go for a perfect value and say let z is equal to 3. Now z is a factor which decides the height of the nut. Height of the nut or the length of the nut is given by this particular expression. Where z is this factor and p is your pitch. So z we have found out is 3 
and the pitch that we have already considered is 5 and therefore the length of nut becomes 15 millimeter. In short, we have designed the nut only for one factor considering the unit bearing pressure which is SP. So that the particular nut is going to be safe under this particular condition of length and other parameters. The last thing in this part which is not the least of course but is called length of handle. Now length of handle we know that is going to sustain the total torque which is going to be applied on this particular element. So the total torque will be given by the force by the operator into the radius of hand or radius of hand well and therefore this particular expression comes into picture. Let us replace radius by the length of handle and therefore the total torque The force applied by the operator is given now make sure that this unit is Newton this particular unit is Newton millimeter and hence the length unit will be again millimeter after evaluating this will get length of handle is equal to Let us go for the preferred value and therefore let which is our last finding. So there the problem gets completed and we finish with the design of power screw, design of the nut and design of the handle. Overall we have designed this C frame successfully for the given conditions. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video please subscribe to Ekeda. Thank you.